Hello, welcome to the Monday, August 26, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Zones Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier came across an interesting smaller attack last week, and in this attack, the attacker was using Mimikatz for a change in order to extract users' passwords. One credentials were extracted using Mimikatz, they were then exfiltrated to an FTP server, which was exposed after Xavier was able to retrieve the credentials from the actual exploit script. Turns out the attack wasn't really all that widespread, only 53 different infected hosts at this point, but after all, 188 credentials were found in files on the FTP server. The initial sample that Xavier found was Visual Basic Script and now how this then ended up on users' systems I think isn't uh, quite clear yet, but of course there's a number of ways how you could deliver a malicious script to a victim. And the US Internal Revenue Service or IRS is warning taxpayers that they have seen a sort of more interesting malware campaign that pretends to come from the IRS. Now, usually we see sort of an uptick in these IRS impersonation attacks during tax filing season. It's of course kind of late for that, but still a lot of people that still have to finish up their taxes. In this particular case, the email claims to be an automatic income tax reminder or an electronic tax return reminder. The email leads the user to an IRS lookalike site and what probably makes the entire scheme a little bit more plausible is that the email actually does include a one-time password that the user is supposed to use to retrieve that document from this fake IRS website. When the user enters the password, well, the malicious document is delivered and then used to compromise the victim. So while it originally kind of looks a little bit like a phishing attack, they're not really going after your credentials. Uh, they actually give you a, a password uh, to use, but the goal here is to deliver malware. But talking about phishing, Sophos came across an interesting phishing attempt impersonating Instagram. The way this arrived was as an email claiming to come from Instagram, telling the user that, well, someone tried to log into your Instagram account. And to make their threat more plausible, they're giving you a one-time password code. So similar to the IRS scam, where actually the attacker is sort of, I guess, playing a little bit of confidence game here. The attacker is first providing you with a password before they're asking you for yours. Now, of course, typically, if you get these warnings that someone is trying to log into your account, the last thing you should do is then you know, click on the link and provide your credentials. But uh, that's what uh, these phishing attempts are looking for. Also, the login page is really, really close to the real Instagram page. So a user wouldn't necessarily get suspicious unless they check the URL. But well, the defenders aren't resting either. And we have a little bit of good news here when it comes to modern web authentication schemes. GitHub just announced that they're supporting WebAuth N. WebAuth N is an up and coming standard for authentication, part of the FIDO, the Fast Identity Online Alliance, and their FIDO 2 specification. What's really sort of interesting about WebAuth N is that it really moves further away from passwords. It's really sort of intended as a password less authentication scheme. Now, the way GitHub is going to implement it is as sort of an alternative authentication scheme. So you already have some uh, two factor set up with GitHub. My hope is that this will actually expose a lot of developers to WebAuth and, and hopefully they'll pick up on it and maybe implement it in their applications. 
And finally, if you're running a Lenovo laptop and you have Lenovo Solution Center installed, uh, update it or even better, delete it as quickly as possible. Uh, there is yet another approach escalation flaw in this particular tool. And since it's not really a, that useful tool in the first place, you probably just wanna get rid of it.